Hi. So I always thought the whole rumor about eating cheese giving you weird dreams. I mean, eating cheese before bed giving you weird dreams. I thought that was bullshit. Nope, it's not. Last night, before, like, literally 20 minutes before I went to sleep, I know you're not even supposed to eat before you go to sleep, but I was hungry, but I was also really tired, so... Potato, potato. Anyways, so... I ate a baked potato with extra cheese. And then, you know, I ate it. I went to sleep. And this is how the dream started. Maybe it's because I've been watching a lot of gameplay for horror video games. I wasn't scared, thank God. Because in any situation, I would have been freaking the fuck out. So, turns out, it's like through my point of view. I wake up, next to me is... A little girl who I'm assuming is my daughter, and the next to her is an older man who is this, who I'm assuming is either my father or my dad, or my father or my dad, uh, my father or my husband, and they're both like unconscious, severely unconscious. They're alive, but they're unconscious. And then this chick comes in, looking like the redhead chick from The Evil Dead or Evil Dead the remake with the really weird yellow eyes and shit. And she's holding a syringe, a uh, couple of syringes, and yeah, so she's about to inject my daughter, or sister, or whatever. I jump in front of her, I push the syringes to the floor, and then I get injected, which, it's like, what the fuck? But what saves my daughter slash sister and father slash husband was that somebody comes knocking in through the front door, because we were in the living room. I go, I bang the door, they break the door open, and then they come in. <sighs> and then I turn around, and they're gone. The crazy lady who tries to stab me with a syringe, and my, let's just say my dad and my daughter, okay? And as I'm, like, freaking out, they're getting, they escape through this hole in the wall, and they made their way around the house. And then they made their way into the car of the people who came and saved us. Well, quote-unquote rescue. So I don't know exactly what she injected me with. But I ended up getting hit by the car. She drove into the house. And then she reversed and then drove into one of the pillars I was hiding behind. And then I got hooked onto the car. And then I somehow started pulling the... Um, the, 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 not the hood from the, well, part of the car apart to pull my niece or my daughter and dad out. But it happened to a point where they were, pos they got possessed and they turned into the demon like her. And then it just turned out after that, instead of a rescue mission, it ended up just being a vengeance. And then my alarm went off. <laughs> But that's that's the summarization of that dream because if I go a little bit more into detail it'll just be ridiculous we shrunk we we got big or I got big and she shrunk or vice versa but yeah thought it was bullshit about the cheese thing apparently not I'm not saying eat cheese induces strange dreams no no I'm just saying cheese is weird I don't know if that means anything. I don't know if it means I need to stop playing video games. Or watching gameplays. Or watching horror movies. Or just the fact that I need to stop eating before I go to bed. I don't know, but it was intense. It felt weird. I woke up feeling angry. Had to go to the bathroom, wash my face a couple of times to just realize, like, bitch, you're awake. That was bullshit. It's not real. Wake your ass up. And I was just like, okay. Weird. I mean, I'm pretty sure that was a nonsense dream. But... Oh, well. <laughs> Anyways. Um... I guess... Share your dreams. Let me know if you've ever had weird dreams like that. Like, I wish I had some kind of, like artistic form other than you know talking my ass off but like if I can 
if I can art, if I can paint, and I can draw you these figures that I see in my head. But oh well. Later.